it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video in oops in FS13. Just finished loading up the game as you can see. So we're gonna go through and get things fired up here. Let's see we got the grain cart, we got the combine. We're going to get him going again. We got the truck. That fired up. We don't need that. We need this guy. Don't need this. Don't need this. Don't need that. <coughs> okay. Cool. So we're going to basically be doing the same thing we were doing in the last video. We're going to be picking up straw while the harvest goes on in the uh, other field there. Uh, we're down to uh, a few more passes on this half of this field, so <laughs> I think by the time we finish the sunflower harvest, we should have all this uh, straw picked up as well. <clears throat> so it is Wednesday. Uh, it is 12:24 right now. Uh, Wednesday afternoon, I guess. Um, I don't work today. I have to have to go to the dentist today for cleaning, so I just took the whole day off. Um, just kind of, you know, have a day where I don't work. So I'll have like two days off this week, which is going to be nice. Um, so every once in a while it's kind of nice to not have to work but uh, then I can also get some other things done like I can get some videos recorded I can uh, also get some stuff done at home here like I need to mow my grass um, and then my dad is away for work so I have to mow at his house too or well I don't have to but um, he asked me if I wanted to so I said I would. Uh, I was actually going to do it the other night when I got my pickup back, but I uh, the uh, sprinklers were running to wet down the weed and feed that I had put on um, the previous morning before I came home, so <coughs> couldn't do it then. And today it's kind of chilly and really, really windy, so I don't know if I'll do it today or not either. I was hoping to, but we'll see. Uh, and so yes, I did get my pickup back. It is all fixed, ball joints and clutch and slave cylinder, all brand spanking new. Uh, quite a lot to do all of that and whatnot, but it'll be worth it. Just gotta get used to driving with the new clutch now. Um, if you guys remember me telling you in the video on I don't remember what day I did that. The day that I did the video where I was just sitting in my pickup talking. Um, you know, whatever. I had said that, uh, I think I said anyways, that I was able to get my pickup in for a new clutch on Friday. Uh, this past Friday. So, my dad and I dropped it off Thursday night after I got off work. And, uh, it was there all day Friday uh, and then Saturday they finished it and I went to go pick it up and did not have first gear um, it was you know I try and go over to where first gear was and there just wasn't anything there uh, it would go into second just fine and I could start off in second but anything farther I just could not get or anything you know anything okay I could not get first so I took it back <coughs> excuse me took it back and they found out that a linkage was not not quite on right 
and so they uh, fixed that and then uh, so it was there for another half hour or so I left uh, and went with my stepmom to get groceries and then we uh, got a call from well I got a call from my dad because they didn't have my number and uh, I didn't think to um, you know say you know this is my number you can call me and so they were just calling my dad and my dad would call or text me and say you know hey it's done so we were standing in the checkout in the checkouts and my dad called and said you know they got it all done and so then I went back and I got in and I had first and it worked okay and so I backed up put it in first gear and drove a little bit and I was sitting behind my stepmom uh, waiting to turn out of the lot and then it just kind of like felt loose it felt like there was nothing there so I just backed it into a spot and went inside and you know just said you know, it did it again I said you guys just need to keep it until Monday or whatever and so they did and it turned out it was just me not being used to a brand new clutch because uh, it's my first gear is a lot farther over and a lot farther up than it was before like now my hand is pretty much touching my vent uh, so I mean it's a lot different than it was before so just got to get used to it so I had called I had to work from noon to 4 on Monday and uh, I called about 2 o'clock and you know to see what they found out and they said there was somebody out driving it then and you know they were waiting to see what what he said see if they could figure out what was wrong and then uh, they called me back about 4 o'clock or so and he's like are you just not used to your new clutch because we've had you know, three different people drive it we've driven it probably four or five times and nobody's had an issue and so I got there and I was talking with one of the people and and then uh, went out and got into it and it just you know yeah it was just a whole lot farther over and a whole lot farther up than uh, than what I was used to so just got to get used to it but it's all done now I can finally drive it wherever I would like to so <coughs> definitely nice to have it all done so now I can do the fun stuff like I want to get uh, new stereo put in it and new speakers uh, I want to get a stereo that has like a CD uh, slot in it and then an aux plug-in um, so that way I can you know, use an aux cord and then uh, undecided I'd like to put a sub in it but we'll see I guess not really sure like I said I'd like to but we'll see uh, it's my uncle that would be doing the work because he owns a audio business so uh, it would be going to him so it'll just kinda depend on how much it'll be and uh, whatnot so Yeah, so hopefully gonna get back into the swing of things for you guys. I know I've been kind of, you know, not uploading a whole lot lately, and you know I apologize for that. Uh, just been, you know, been busy with work, and I come home and I just kind of don't feel like sitting and recording video and rushing to try and get it up and whatnot. And it's kind of been a long couple of weeks, and so now. Uh, but now I'm going to try and get back into the swing of things. i uh, got a new video schedule which is going to also help. Um, and if you haven't seen the video yesterday, I think I put it up yesterday or the day before. Um, where now instead of uploading every single day of the week, I'm going to upload every day but s uh, Thursday. And Thursdays are going to be kind of the off day. Um, 
you know, I can kind of use that day to record, you know, the next three videos at the very least, and then maybe even, you know, the next week, you know, try and get some more videos and not have to worry about uploading a video that day. Um, so, it'll be kind of nice. Plus, I was always trying to figure out, you know, what can I do for this? And so it was always kind of hit and miss. I mean, I may still upload a video every once in a while on Thursday, but it's not going to be the, you know, normal upload or anything by any means. So, you know, maybe like every once in a while I'll have a video of something and whatnot. Uh, I am also going to be buying a GoPro very soon. Uh, payday is coming up here on Monday, so I'm probably going to use you know most of that check to go buy a GoPro and some attachments for it and uh, can get some video with that uh, I won't have any real life farm videos for a little while yet uh, because we just you know we don't have anything going until like July uh, is usually when we start so it's usually after the 4th of July but you know, I can be able to get some footage, maybe like, you know, some dash cam footage or something, I don't know. Or if I'm up there at the farm and we end up doing something, I can always get footage of it or whatever. I can maybe start doing some more uh, farm toy videos. Maybe that's what I can do on Thursdays. Uh, I can do farm toy videos or something like that. We'll see. I really honestly haven't touched anything on, you know, with my farm toys for quite some time. Um, everything is still the way it was in the last farm toy video that I did. So I gotta kind of move some stuff around and whatnot. I want to change some things up. want to change the uh, positioning of some stuff. And uh, move some stuff around. And I have to fix the uh, fence for the corral in the barn because I've kind of hit it with my uh, desk chair a couple of times. So, <coughs> And I've stepped on it once. I did that one day too. And uh, so it's like all crooked up. You know, it's all messed up. Some of it's fallen over and come off. and So... This thing must have a little bit of a dirt skin on it or something. See, I think that was... Was that the first load of sunflowers? Must have been. So the sunflowers aren't yielding a huge amount either. But they are still... You know, we're still getting quite a bit, so... So our productivity has not kicked in yet for our cows, which kind of sucks, but how much we can do about it. So we have 163,761. Well, I do have to also keep in mind that we're only on the uh, third time around the field, which reminds me I need to make sure that this guy starts going up and down here pretty soon. So yeah, I kind of keep an eye on that guy. Not too sure why it wants to keep skipping. But it does, for whatever reason. I guess we'll just kind of slow it down a little bit here. Yeah, let's see, can we speed it up again? No. What in the world? It just doesn't like going this direction, evidently. Had I done course play with the combine? I wouldn't have to be doing this. I could have just let uh, let course play do it. But if we weren't doing this, we'd be just sitting there 
in the grain car tractor kind of just wasting fuel driving around behind the combine to wait so this way we're still making money and we're still getting things done so which reminds me we're gonna have to jump up to the uh, grain cart here pretty quick so we can turn around and go like this which will be closer to it this way I'm trying not to let the combine fill up as much as possible but sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't yeah we do have quite a bit of field left so <coughs> we should have quite a bit of sunflower my guess is it'll probably be um, in that area where the amount of oats is probably that 150,000 liter range uh, if we can get like maybe three more loads out of here of sunflower I'd be happy that'd be like another 90 to anywhere from 90 to 120,000 liters so bit of a hole there so I mean, if we could get get that I'd be happy um, that'd be a good enough amount of sunflower uh, and we are buying a cultivator and a corn planter uh, that's you know what everybody wanted which is kinda what I figured you know it makes more sense to be actually using a corn planter for the corn and sorghum rather than using an air seeder so we're gonna have to hop to the combine here pretty soon too as soon as we get him unloaded we'll have to jump into it and set it up and down instead of around and around now now that we got the field opened up enough on the ends for it to turn around so we're gonna fill the grain cart again alright so now we'll jump to this guy we'll go up and down okay we'll go get we need to bring our truck back first it's pretty busy with uh, one person and not using course play which I suppose I probably could well no this truck does not like course play I know that uh, I mean it's okay on it but I would uh, just drive it myself over putting it on course play I wish every mod had this kind of tarp where it actually like rolled across that'd be awesome and that you could like go walk to the back and then there's like a trigger back there and you press a button and it rolls it that'd be that'd be even cooler I suppose there's probably some way to do that but it's beyond me I need to get some more screenshots of sunflower harvest here haven't really been getting a whole lot of them Gotta reply to a message here while I wait for this to unload. Okay. Now we can jump back over here and 
continue on. I have to get another screenshot of this too, I think. It's funny how using the print screen print screen button it like freezes it, but then like F12 it just snaps it right as I'm going. Kind of funny how it works like that. So yeah, I'm hoping to get a few videos recorded today as well. Um, it's 12:43 right now, and I have my appointment at two. So get this done, get ready, and then uh, after that, I can sit and record a bunch more. Hopefully, get uh, enough for the rest of the week here. Which is only three videos, so it shouldn't be too awfully hard. About an hour and a half of video or so. So that's not bad. I don't know if it's just this map like you get tons of um, crop from like if it's I don't know if it's just the standard crops or if like it's just with the pre-planted stuff that it does that so we sold yeah we sold all of our other crop that's right because we bought some we bought the Cummins tractor and some other stuff. Oh, we need to go unload here again. Luckily, the combine's right there. It's amazing how much fuel this tractor drinks up. Best part about this combine going up and down now is if I just kind of put this tractor in the middle here, I'm either going to go to the left or I'm going to go to the right. One of the two. just have our sorghum field left which is the biggest of the three and we'll take the longest hoping that we have this straw stuff finished up by the time we start that because with that field we are gonna have to be in the grain cart following the combine around because if we're on this end of the field and he fills down there there is down way down on the other end and is at like 60 percent it's gonna take a long time to get down there and we're going to be having a lot of stops from the combine so it's going to take a lot longer to get the harvest done which is never any good what are we doing for time here five minutes See, we are starting to get a nice little pile of manure there. Let's see, what do we got here? 9,166 liters of manure and 11,458 liters of slurry. So we're starting to build some stuff up. 
Um, eventually we can get some trailers, uh, like a small tipper for the uh, manure and then a tanker for the slurry. That way we can haul it and sell it. Uh, that's a nice thing about this map is you can sell the uh, manure. So a little extra money there as well because I would rather just sell it than use it because it goes by like it's used up so fast and like with the amounts that we have now I think we could maybe spread three quarter of this field or so like with everything because stuff just runs out so quickly so instead of using that I'd rather just sell it and then use that money towards fertilizer that will last a little longer and you know we can use that then I mean maybe it may not make sense but it's it's how I would like to go about it I guess so I'm gonna get this stuff off the grass spot there wish this thing would quit skipping so much it's always annoying This guy, okay. So I think we'll uh, see what do we got. So we'll have enough time. We'll unload the combine, and we'll have to unload the grain cart as well. So we'll do that, and then we will be uh, all good for this video. We're gonna actually just shut this guy down, and maybe we'll unload the truck as well. We'll see. We'll probably unload it, I guess. Man, that was timed about perfectly. <coughs> so our productivity is up to 110% again. They're still doing pretty good on uh, all of their stuff, all of their feed and straw and whatnot. We got a little under 1,200 liters of milk, so we're doing pretty well on that as well. I'm sure, it doesn't help that uh, you only usually have this game open for about an hour or a half an hour at a time. Uh, usually, just long enough to record a video and then I close it and move on to the next thing so sure that really does not help matters any but it's what happens I guess <clears throat> one of these days I'll just kind of record like a whole bunch of videos at a time like maybe like three of each video or something like that or no I'll do like four of each thing and then have like two weeks of video pre-recorded maybe that's what I'll kind of work on now because like this video I just have one more FS 13 video left and then uh, 
just the... Okay, so we need to stop this guy. Um, just one more FS13 video left for this week. So then I could, you know... Like today I hope to get the next three videos recorded. You know, the FS15, the mapping, and then the FS13 video for later in the week. And then I can, you know, over the next few days start recording for the next couple weeks because <clears throat> it's doing things that way that kind of ensures that you know I'm not gonna get behind again like I have been lately so but that's gonna about do it for this video guys if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thank you for watching, guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.